Hey my first of animals and welcome back to Genshin Impact. So this is gonna be the last uh, character story quest for now. I may continue the character story quest, but I want to first get out of freaking um, leeway first. So um, yeah, so I forgot what story quest this is. Do you, do you have to be so rude? Oh, wow. I don't- I forgot what story quest this is, so let's just uh, jump right into it. So I'll see you where we're- where we're supposed to be, so. I think I have been up here, like, at all. Alright, so, uh, oh! Uh, these heavens are smiting me. Smiting me to smithereens. Excuse me, are you Chang the Ninth? Uh-huh. And what do you want? Come on, spit it out. Uh. We've heard you've got tons of old books lying around, and we want to borrow the Liyue volume of the Tavat Travel Guide. Huh. Don't get me started on the topic of my books. After the chasm was sealed off, the family mining business started going south. Then the Fatui started working to sabotage me. To pay off my debts, I had no choice but to pawn off my beloved book collection. Every last book. Do you have any idea what that means? Are you sad that you've got nothing to read now? Wrong. That was my life's work. I devoted my entire life to curating, collecting, caring for them. And now they're gone. Gone, I tell you. Aww. <sighs> It's useless ranting and raving at you like this. All I can do is try to save enough Mora to buy them back. Aww. Unless you have other business here, I'm done talking to you. Goodbye. Off you go. Go on, go. Please tell me that you didn't pawn Volume 6 of Legend of the Shattered Halberd. Legend of the Shattered Halberd? <laughs> there is a title I haven't heard in a long time. You have good taste, my boy. Mm-hmm. Okay, then. What? But we don't? <laughs> that work was an epic-defining masterpiece. Granted, it was almost unknown at the time it was published. Mm-hmm. But over time, it was the work that came to define the genre of martial arts novels and sparked a plethora of imitation works. Uh-huh. Barely any copies of the first edition were ever printed. The later edition inexplicably went out of print, almost as soon as it was released. A shame, given what it allegedly added to the original story. Yes, that's right. Okay. I forget. The original edition, sixth volume of that work is, is so rare, I could never bring myself to pawn it no matter how much I needed the money. Well, then. You mean, you mean you still have it? Yes. It is my one and only remaining treasure. Mm hmm Hey, Chang. Uh-oh. You've got some nerve keeping me and my boss waiting like this. I need an answer. Will you sell the Corlapis or not? I'm sure you don't need me to remind you that if you mess with Gentry Mautsai, you're messing with the Fatui. <sighs> Sir. Oh, you again. But you know I can't afford to give a 70% discount on the price. I'd never be able to buy my collection back. That's your business. The question is, do you want your books, or do you want food on your plate? Perhaps you'd like to take your books with you to an early grave. How rude! Uh, you... <sighs> Whoa there, friend. Come on. This gentleman is either willing to make a deal or he's not. You can't force him to sell against his will. Yeah, you tell him. You tell him. I'm not going to be able to pronounce your name, but you tell him. Just who do you think you are? <laughs> Keep your nose out of other people's business. Oh, well, I don't know if you want to say that, sir. 
My liege, I am but one who comes to the aid of this gentleman in his moment of need. I am Xingqiu, disciple of the Guhua clan. Xingqiu! That's right, Xingqiu. <laughs> Sorry, Piper, my knuckles don't mind me. Guhua clan? Did you hear this clown? He thinks he's a Guhua master in this day and age. <laughs> The music kind of fits this right here, too. Oh, there was me thinking the last granddads of Guhua had keeled over and died by now. <laughs> Who were you supposed to be then, huh? Some sort of Guhua messiah? What? Justice is blind to our backgrounds, my friend. That just makes me someone trying to do the right thing. But you? The weasel who does the tiger's bidding may be less powerful than his master, but he is no less guilty. Ooh. Get a load of this guy. <laughs> Just you wait. You'll be sorry you crossed me. <laughs> Bro, do you know who we are? <laughs> and you, Chang? You're selling that core lapis whether you like it or not. Mmm, sure. <sighs> oh, how the wolves prey upon the fallen tiger. My days are numbered. Uh-oh. So, just to come back to what we were talking about earlier, could I get a yay or nay about borrowing that book? Jeez Louise, give him the man a minute! Oh, what does it matter now? I can't expect anybody to care about me anymore. But since you did stick up for me, please, just take this book and leave me in peace. Aww. Three long years I have waited for this day. Words cannot express my gratitude. I, Xingqiu, vow to repay this great act of generosity. <sighs> uh, no. All right, give it a rest. Just bring it back when you're finished. Sorry, but I'm not about to put my hopes in some self-professed Guhua disciple. Uh, huh. Over here. Look for Sancho after he left the book. And right, he's there. All right, see you over there then. So you like reading, huh, Mister Five Second Hero? Oh, amazing! I never saw that coming. Hello? Shincho? Anybody in there? That this isn't me when I'm drawing and I'm in full artist mode. <laughs> no wonder this book is so highly sought after. Sir! <sighs> that guy back at uh, Chung the Ninth was pretty bossy. How can they bully poor old Chang the Knife like this? Forcing him to sell his ore for dirt cheap? It's daylight robbery, pure and simple. You and I have to find a way to help Chang the Ninth. Don't forget me. I'm in too. Wow, you were listening. Oh, so now you can hear what we're saying. <laughs> the reason I borrowed this book is that it would be a real pity if Chang the Ninth ended up having to pawn it. Mm-hmm. And I meant every word I said to Chang the Ninth. I will return his act of kindness. It is the just thing to do. Oh, I've been pronouncing his name wrong. My bad. I will be custodian of this book, and I will also help find a way to buy back the rest of his collection. You already have a plan, don't you? Of course I do. An initial plan, anyway. I still need to work out the details. Right. Give me a second to reflect. It shan't take but a moment. Uh-huh. You're still here? What is this, a game to you? You think no one's really gonna get hurt? <sighs> we were... <laughs> I gotta hand it to the goofball clan. What you lack in numbers and talent, you make up for in guts. And the Fatui is... Oh, and the Fatui are here, fuck. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I say goofball clan? I meant Gu Hua clan. That's what you goofballs call it, right? 
<laughs> I fucking hate this guy. Can we beat him up already? There's a saying that goes, the insect that shakes the oak tree ludicrously overestimates its ability. <laughs> Quit quoting proverbs at me, you buffoon. <laughs> Please leave this place. I will not tolerate an attempt to coerce an honest traitor, especially when the one you seek to threaten is one to whom I owe a debt of gratitude. Ooh, okay. It's cute that you want to stick your neck out for Chang and all. But you picked the wrong time, you little punk. I brought the Fatui to back me up. A whole army of you and your little Guha buddies wouldn't be able to help you now. Please, you're looking at the Traveler who so far in my story has saved Mondstadt and Lee Wei. Soon probably to say Inazuma and Sumeru, but that's just me. I may be young, my liege, but the path I have chosen makes me no stranger to conflict. Why should I cower in the face of evil? Das King, you tell him. Oh, great speech. <laughs> but now it's time for you to learn your lesson. Mm, sure. Okay, let me guess, we're gonna have to fight. Yep. Ooh, okay. I thought that was just a regular pendant you were wearing, not a vision. <laughs> wow. You won this round, but you better watch your back. This isn't over. Sure. Wow. Can't even. Can't even. You don't even know what the fucking vision look. You know what? No, no. Would it be too much to hope they've learned their lesson? More to go than meets the eye, huh? Sorry, it's just. No, no, you misunderstand. That fellow has a foul mouth, to be sure. But his assessment of the state of the Guhua clan is... Well, not exactly incorrect, I suppose. <sighs> huh? Though I long to restore Guhua to its former glory, it is no easy task. Mm-hmm. They've gone for now, but they'll be back looking to cause more trouble before long. Mm-hmm. I'll see to it that no harm comes to those who show me kindness. There is a just and unjust way to do business. And I will ensure the matter is resolved satisfactorily. Right. It's not like the Fatui to pick sides in a business dispute. But the confident demeanor of their errand boy suggests there is substance to his words. Yeah. There must be a deeper level of collusion at work here. So I think we're doing Sing Cho's storyline. Okay then. He mentioned Gentry Maotai. I know this name. He has a stately residence in Liyue Harbor. Maybe the two of you could go and investigate. Sure. That idea works. But what are you gonna do? Me? I have other things to look into. Let me see. Let us meet at Yujing Terrace in Liyue Harbor in a bit. Uh-huh. You really have stuff to do? Are you sure you're not just using us as your errand runners? <laughs> wow, so that's how that turned out. This whole passage is just... <sighs> this is... I, I, don't, I know I'm doing that, but I feel that. I kind of feel that, and it's just... <sighs> Ugh, this guy is so annoying! Paimon just wants to slap him right in his stupid face! First, let's hope on... Uh, yeah, I'm not able to, I'm not gonna try to pronounce his name. Fine. But as per tradition, Paimon gets to pick an ugly nickname for him. Yeah, like we have Tone Deaf Bard. That's all I know for now. From now on, he shall be known as Goo Geek. But what? Okay, whatever. Whatever then. Go first. No need to wait for me. One more page, and I'll go and stretch my legs. Just one last page. That's me, with like, just one more minute! And then the next thing I knew has been an hour later. Mm-hmm. 
Hello. All right. Well, I'll see you. Yeah, uh, I think Leeway Harbor. Uh, what if Master finds out? Who goes there? Uh, I blur the cheat every by cleaning up your boss, sure. How strange. You're not on the guest list. <laughs> oh, okay. The Master's dealing with some urgent business today. All prior appointments have been cancelled. Oh. Urgent business? What is it? <sighs> the Master's been working on a major business deal recently. He left early this morning to meet with a VIP client. Uh-huh. So, where is he now? I'm sorry. The Master is stressed that we must not disclose that information to just anyone. Just anyone? So you're saying we are not his VIP clients? Uh, no. I, I, I mean, yes. Yes, you are. <laughs> I, I, I meant no offense. P please, believe me. Okay. Would you like to explain those extra fees you're in incurring to your boss, or shall I? I I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Master's currently in business negotiations at Shinya Kiosk. Hmm. I, I beg for your mercy, please. My master will show me no leniency if he finds out. Fine. Well, my master has much more important things to do than talking to rude guards like you. What? Paimon, uh, be nice. Luckily for you, your bad attitude will be the last thing on our minds when my master's busy negotiating a big business deal with your boss. I can't believe me. I love her so much. I love that. I'm glad that I picked her. Like, what? I'm sorry. Thank you. Thank you. May your business forever be blessed by the Lord of Geo. Sure. Nice work. Paimon never knew you were such a tough negotiator. You did great, too. <laughs> Paimon loves compliments and all, but treating Paimon to some tasty snacks would show that you really mean it. Uh-huh. Anyway, seems like the VIP client in question must be one of the Fatui. This could work in our favor. In that case, let's get ourselves over to the Shinue kiosk. Right. Seems business is booming at the Shinue kiosk. No one should notice if we blend in there. But either way, if we want to know what kind of shady business they're up to, we better be careful. Alright, see you there. I understand. I do. Please do not worry. <coughs> Excuse me. My word that the order will be completed as promised. Oh boy. Hmm. The subordinate I sent was not quite so optimistic in his appraisal. Is somebody being uncooperative? Uh, we just ran into a minor procurement problem. Is all. We haven't managed to purchase the core lapis yet. Oh, I see. But it's nothing for you to worry about. If Chang the Ninth won't sell, I can buy from someone else. Uh-oh. That would be most ideal. I remind you again that the Fatui care only about the result. Uh, that's, that's a fucking Fatui for ya. We are willing to lend a certain degree of support to this transaction. But if it is not completed in time, you may suddenly find our goodwill comes at a price you cannot afford. Uh-oh. I understand. I am indebted to you for your protection. You know I would not dream of disappointing you, don't you? So then, then why are you disappointing them then, hmm? No, I'm just kidding. We shall see when the time comes. Darn that old man, Chang. So, Mr. Gentry Mozai is colluding with the Fatui. Shh! Who knows if Gula Geek has made any progress? Should we go tell him? Shh! Shh, bye, much. All right. See you when we wait. Uh, um, uh, Ching. Fuck, I forgot how to pronounce his name. But see you there. Sir! Hmm. You said you had other things to look into, as if you're some sort of.
sort of man of mystery. When actually all you meant was you wanted somewhere new to park your backside while you read your book. <laughs> we know about met up t what uh, is up to yes i do not pronounce that name so don't judge me you tell paimon she's saying about the much. deal did you really guess or are you just saying that to sound clever paimon shut up the course of action we must take is now clear to start with please deliver this letter to the feiyun commerce guild they will know what to do uh-huh my leash for reasons that i cannot explain i will be unable to join you uh-huh. There is no need for you to read the contents of the letter. When the time comes... Ugh, this writing is super hard to read. Python can't make heads or tails of it. A secret... A secret text that needs a cipher, perhaps? Uh... Or bad handwriting. Hence why I said there is no need for you to read it. The Feiyun Commerce Guild will have someone who can understand it. Uh-huh. But why would you want to get them involved? They're one of the big wig commerce guilds in Lila. Why would they want to help us? Why the... I can't fucking pronounce this commerce guild. Why can well, I not pronounce these? Since we've been these? to Lila, Paimon keeps hearing people mention it. Seems they oversee a lot of business that goes on around here. Mm-hmm. Having such big backing would be great and all, but are you sure they'd want to help? No need to worry about that. From what I know, they share my sense of chivalry. Uh-huh. Once they have read the carefully reasoned and passionately argued case I put forth in this letter, they will certainly be moved to action. How can you be sure? Gentry Moutsai must be taught a lesson he will never forget. This is something we cannot do on our own. Right. Also, I do not wish for anyone else to know of my involvement in this. I see a little viewpoint up there. Why not? You're only doing this to try and help chain the ninth, right? To silently disappear at the matter's conclusion, concealing one's name and contribution. This is the chivalrous thing to do. To savor the memory is ample reward. Each droplet of kindness I receive, I am duty-bound to repay with the welling spring of gratitude. I seek neither praise nor reward. Uh-huh. That sounds very lovely. But be honest, you just want them to do it so you can carry on reading your book, don't you? Paimon, shut up! Thank you in advance for delivering this letter to the Feiyun Commerce Guild. Someone from the guild should be able to receive you near Lioli Pavilion. Uh-huh. Hey, stop ignoring Paimon! I understand why he's ignoring you, Paimon. All right, I'm gonna quickly get that viewpoint and then I'll head over to the Commerce Guild. Hello, sir. Excuse us, we come bearing news of a matter requiring your assistance. Uh, it's all in this letter. Why are you suddenly talking like Ching Ching? A letter? Oh, I see. This again. Again? No, oh, don't mind me. I was just speculating. Let me give this a read. Can he actually read this thing? Is it even written in the common tongue? Hmm. Yes, the script is inimitable by the uninitiated. Huh? Honored guests, you must both be wary from your long journey. Please allow the Feiyun Commerce Guild to be your host for tonight. Wait, what? Please rest assured that the matter written about has been duly received. We just need some time to prepare. Please take a seat here in Leo Lee Pavilion, where you may enjoy some light refreshments while taking in the ocean view. Consider it a small token of our esteem. What? Yay! Tasty snacks! They're giving us the VIP treatment! Paimon! Of course. We treat visitors with the utmost respect here at the Feiyun Commerce Guild. When honored guests grace us with their presence, far be it from us to shirk our duty to them. Why we're not with them? Oh, wait. We're in the Avengers Guild. Never mind. Please, this way. Okay. Oh, we're going somewhere. And Paimon thought we'd get kicked out or turned away at the door. <laughs> Paimon didn't think Guhuaki had so much clout. Thank you for your patience. 
With the amount of wealth and power Gentry Mountsai has, it will take more than a slap on the wrist to get through to him. Mm hmm For him to correct the error of his ways, he must feel for himself the same suffering he has inflicted on Chang the Ninth. Hmm, <laughs> how are we supposed to do that, per se? Since Gentry Mountsai's business has to do with Core Lapis, we simply need to buy up all the stock there is in Liu. That will put him in a rather sticky situation. How the fuck are we supposed to do that? Deprived of the necessary raw materials, even the best craftsperson what the heck? would be unable to make their product. What the fuck? Or they could just suddenly turn to daytime. Great idea! That'll be sure to mess things up between him and the Fatui. Mm-hmm. But Liwa is huge! Is it really possible to buy up every last bit of core lapis in the harbor? Mm -hmm. With the time scale we are on, it is indeed a challenge. Hence, as stated in the letter, we must ask for your further cooperation in the matter. Mm hmm. First, there are a number of vendors in the city you will need to buy from. I've marked their respective locations on your map. Uh huh. There is also some unsold core lapis at the chasm. You will need to purchase that too. Uh huh. By the way, I'm eating some pineapple. Don't mind me. Finally, dried pineapple. Chang the Ninth's batch. Uh, I'm eating dried pineapple. Don't mind me. Alrighty, so three sellers in the city, another one at the chasm, and then Chang the Ninth. Roger that! Of course, we are not expecting you to cover the costs. Wow, so many Mora! With cash like this, Paimon could rent out Leoli Pavilion and eat there for a whole month! <laughs> the, um, Fing, Fing Ching Cars Guild, I'm so sorry, is certainly generous with this resources. <laughs> well, this is not the first time we've had to do something like this. It's just par for the course now. Uh-huh. All you need to do is strike a deal. The Feiyun Commerce Guild will handle the transportation and other trifling matters. Right. Once you have purchased all the core lapis, please proceed to the Feiyun Commerce Guild's warehouse where you can see the rest of the plan unfold. Right. Gotta hand it to Guhua Geek. This is some seriously solid work for a guy who lives in a fantasy world. Let's do this in the order the guy said. First the sellers in the city, then the chasm, and then last but not least, Chang the Ninth. Right. Alright, I'll see you at each venue. I'll jump cut to when I reach the venues and everything, so see you there. Ma'am, I would like... Hi. Anything I can do for you? Yes, your core lapis. You want all my core lapis? Uh... I've already agreed to several orders. Well, that said, none are in writing. The buyers are being incredibly indecisive. Then let the Fingeing Cars Guild take it off your hands. Oh, it's for the Feiyun Commerce Guild? Feiyun. Hmm, seems business trends are about to change in Liyue. Oh, uh, <laughs> nothing. I'm just talking to myself. Come, let us sign a contract. Don't worry about my prior client. He hadn't made any down payments or anything. Quite common in the industry. Mm-hmm. Thank you for your patronage. We hope the Feiyun Commerce Guild will continue to do business with us. Feiyun. 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 Yeah. It's Feiyun. Alright, next one. Hello, sir. I like all your core lapis. Good day, my friend. My apologies, but I'm out of stock at the moment. Please try again next time. Are you out of core lapis too? Oh, I thought you were here to purchase Snezhnayan products. Yeah, nope. No, that I still have. Although I ship it all to factories in Snezhnaya. I don't do retail. Too much hassle, not enough return. Sorry. Does real ticket all still count as retail? What? Uh, no, 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 no. Give me a second to think. Um, uh, Alright, I'll do it. Just need you to sign for it. Right. Clearly, no shortage of cash flow in Liu. Ah, huh. Alright, one down. One more to go, and it's downstairs. Oh, it's Flower Guy! Hi! Oi! Keep your voice down. All of it? Though my business may not seem so big, 
I should warn you that I can get what you need, both legitimately and not so legitimately. <laughs> Sir. Best you give me an actual number. I I uh, forgot how cre this this guy is so weird. I remember him from the Archon Quest. All of it would be far more than you actually want. It's for the Finjin Commerce Guild. I per Finyun whatever. Finyun Commerce Guild? Well, why didn't you say so? <laughs> if it's for the Feyun Commerce Guild, Finyun sign on the dotted line, and I'll start getting things in order right away. I can't freaking wow. All right, to the chasm. Hello there. Are you in charge of the core lab this year? Aha! Finally, I thought you might come. I hear the Feyun Commerce Guild has been buying up all the Corlapa stock in Liyue Harbor. Mm-hmm. As it happens, I do have a batch of Corlapa that hasn't been shipped yet. It's all yours, if you name the right price. How much does it cost, exactly? Well, the original buyer's price was already quite high, so... Hmm. The best I can do is... Seven million more. <laughs> Excuse me, what? Are you serious? We spent less than two million more on the rest of Leo's stuff put together. Yeah. I'm afraid it has to go to the highest bidder. I'm breaching an existing agreement by selling to you, so it has to be worth my while. As of for four times, num. So it's a poor farm to adjust the price without good ground. Look, you I have can't your English. problems to deal with, and I have mine. You can take it or leave it. So if you're not buying, please leave me alone. All right, all right, we'll pay, even if it is a ridiculous price. Mm-hmm. When we get back, we'll just have to tell the guild that we'll sell to this gentleman at four times the normal price in the future. Wait, surely there's, there's no need for that. Maybe you should think twice before confronting the Finian Commerce Guild. Please, don't do this. It's not even your money. Why be so frugal with it? <laughs> it might be the guild's money, but we'll have a tough time explaining to our boss why we spent so much in one go. That is actually kind of true. Oh. Sorry, I'm in the really I'm in the mood for pineapple all of a sudden. Don't mind me. If he asks, all we can do is mention your name and say you gouged us over the price. I, I understand. I'm sorry. Please, uh, I don't want any trouble with the guild. Mm-hmm. There's just one other thing, though. There's been an issue with the delivery of this batch. Uh, several carts were ambushed by hilly churls. Why is it always hilly churls? I don't know where exactly, but if I can't retrieve the goods, I can't sell them to you either. That is that is a that is a good point. So maybe you could go and look for the carts. There should be five of them in total. If you can find them all and tell me where they are, I'll sign the contract right away. You have a deal. Oh, thank you very much. This is a lot to ask. I know. That's that then. Well, no time to lose. Come on. <laughs> All right. Calm before the. St I don't like that quest name. All right. All right. Paimon, I've been doing all the work here. Goodness gracious. Here, we've made a note of the cart's locations. All five of them. Can you sell us the core lapis now? Oh, wonderful. Thank you both. Yes, let's make this official. I also hope you could put in a good word with your boss for me. Hmm, we'll see. We'll see. Done and dusted! Yeah! 
Nice work back there, Paimon. Yeah, I I'm, I I know Paimon gets a bunch of smack, but I love her. Sure, she can get on my nerves sometimes, but I I still love her. Now for the final stop on our Corlapis crawl, to change the ninth place. Yes. See you there. Hopefully, he doesn't give us a bunch of smack about it. Just who I was hoping to see. I was just thinking to myself, Gentry Mautsai's thugs have been mysteriously absent for a while now. Oh no. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Ah. Uh... Oh, don't worry. You won't be hearing from them again. Oh? What? What happened? Not only that, and we would like, but we'd like to purchase your core lapis. Huh? Oh, oh, I see now. You're, you're in this trade, too. So you're trying to beat him to the post, eh? Appearances can be deceiving, that's for sure. <laughs> but I don't care who you are. A discount of 70% is simply impossible. The maximum I can do is 40% off, and even then, I'm, I'm only breaking even. No need. We'll take it at the market rate. Yes. You mean you're not trying to force the price down? What, what, what's going on? Have I died and gone to heaven? <laughs> I can't believe it. I will make a profit on this batch after all. Oh, this is so cute. But Gentry Mountside thugs could still come back after I've sold it. Don't worry. Don't worry about them. If Paimon told you they're not going to bother you again, then you'd better believe they're not going to bother you again. Rest assured, you're safe selling to us. Huh. Okay, then. My situation can hardly get worse from here in any case. <laughs> that is true. But tell me, what on earth do you plan to do with so much core lapis? Um... Actually, it's for a commission. Can't go into too much detail. We'll send someone to collect the goods later. Thank you. Thank you a million times over. I really don't know what to say. Don't thank us yet. Wait until we finish at least. Good people always get what's coming to them in the end. And so will the nasty people. Karma's a bitch. Anyway, let's get going. Because apparently we have a show to watch at the Feiyun Palmer Skills Warehouse. Yeah, apparently. I'll see you at the warehouse then. <laughs> Hi, sir! Welcome. The final act in this drama would not be complete without you two here as audience. Ooh, I'm excited. You better believe it! We're the ones who've been doing all the work! What exactly have you been doing all this time? Uh, well, naturally, I used the time to immerse myself completely in Legend of the Shattered Halberd. I managed to finish the book off, and I enjoyed every minute of it. Of course. Divine halberd, an ominous sword, near and way young. The way the story develops across the first five volumes, nothing short of exemplary. But the sixth volume? Oh, words fail me. How blessed we are to have such an author grace our world with such works. Uh-huh. And this is related to Gentry Mautsai, how? It's not, but when something surpasses expectations to such a degree, one must show one's appreciation. You saw how everything would play out. And it is thanks to your help that everything will play out just as I had foreseen. Uh-huh. Why does Paimon have to be the only one who doesn't get what's going on? No fair! <laughs> Gentry Mautsai goes searching for Core Lapis all over Liyue Harbor, and he doesn't find a single piece. Oh shit. He panics. Without the goods, he can't fulfill his contract. And if he can't fulfill his contract, he can't stay in good standing with the Fatui. This is the only contract that uh, Rex Apis, aka Zhongli, will be, only, will be okay with. <laughs> Breaking! <laughs> 
then it's, it's uh, bad, you know. Here's a rumor that the Feyun Commerce Guild is the culprit. Panic turns to disbelief. Mm-hmm. Jinshu Maotsai is a hugely powerful figure in the business world. Never has anyone dared to target him like this. Mm-hmm. So regardless of whether it is revenge or a swift resolution that he seeks, he is certain to... So it was you! You were the one sticking your necks out for Chang the Knight! Wow, way to ruin it. No, I'm just kidding. Speak of the devil. I went everywhere trying to find someone selling core lapis before I realized the Feiyun Commerce Guild had been on an acquisition spree. <laughs> Oh, great, Fatui is fucking here. I hate these Fatui ancient guys. They're so fucking annoying. Core lapis is hardly a rare mineral, and yet suddenly the stocks dry up, just like that. Explain yourselves. What is the meaning of this persecution? We are not persecuting you, but protecting another, one to whom I am indebted. Upon witnessing an injustice, it is a perfectly normal response to rush to the aid of he who has been wronged. Was it not one of your own men who said, this isn't over? Ooh. <clears throat> you clearly don't know what's good for you. I won't beat around the bush. Master, if you please, seize their core lapis. Uh, no you won't. Ooh, heck yeah. Remember, help comes first. Oh, so sorry. Oh, oh, shut up back there. Oh, my ping's really bad. That's why it's taking me a while to switch characters. Oh, that is fucking did a lot of damage. Holy shit. Sure, I can't. Impressive. You are no commoners. To continue this fight would be to incur greater losses than I can accept. Uh-huh. Their strength is almost spent. Finish them off. Core Lapis is almost within our grasp. Shut up. Might I remind you that the Fatui's relationship with you extends to business matters only. I did not lend you my men to have them stir up trouble at your beck and call. Heck yeah. What are you saying? Master, everything I did, I did with only one thing in mind. To complete the order. This is why you don't mess with the Fatui. Like, then figure it out by yourself. Yeah, th this is why you don't make matters with the Fatui because it's gonna end up wrong. D don't go. Wait, Master. Wait. <laughs> My lord, what are you doing here? Are you hurt? Oh. Thanks to this valiant young woman. I am unscathed. Yay! You call us a young woman! Yay! Why am I happy about that? My lord? My lord! Uh, I did not see that coming. You? You are the heir of the Feyun Commerce Guild? Oh! Indeed, my liege. I am Xing Cho, disciple of the Guhua clan and second son of the Feyun Commerce Guild manager, and I make no secret of it. Oh! Oh, oh, oh no. Rats. I've been played like a fiddle. Uh-huh. Gentry Mountsai. Coercion and intimidation are hardly the attributes of a respectable businessman. The problems that your business practices have created, I have sought to resolve through mine. Heck yeah. I shudder to think what the Fatui will do with you if you fail to provide their core lapis. Meddling swine. <laughs> well, go on. Tell me, what were you selling for? Why do you want to know? Excuse me, by the way. Since you asked Chang the Ninth for a discount of 
Let's fight fire with fire, shall we? <laughs> Three times the market rate sounds fair, no? <laughs> How dare you subject me to such viciousness? This is a malicious and calculated attempt to run me into the ground. <laughs> Deep breaths now. This is a simple decision. Will you buy or not? <laughs> I... <clears throat> Fine. Have it your way. I'll find the money somehow. Happy now. Shut the fuck up. On behalf of the Feiyun Commerce Guild, I thank you for your business and hope you will continue to do business with us in future. <laughs> you? Funny speaking, book reading, gua geeking, sing cho are the heir of the Feiyun Commerce Guild? Oh, what is it? Wow. So that massive stash of Mora you let us burn through in a day? That was from your private vault? Silva, don't you dare clot your crate now. Twas but a paltry sum. I got to make a very sound investment while putting Gentry Maltzai in his place. A classic two birds, one stone situation. Uh-huh. Appearances can't really can be deceiving. You are too kind. You have valor in your heart, and that is worthy of admiration. Uh huh. Yikes! Paimon's been calling you Guhua Geek this whole time! Ooh! <laughs> Paimon read in one of these martial artist novels that when rich heirs like you get angry at someone, you have their arms and legs chopped off! <sighs> Paimon's toast! And sorry! Very sorry! Please don't hurt Paimon! Oh my gosh, my mind, I look. Calm down. Since you can fly, you hardly need your legs anyway. <laughs> ah, save me, save me. This is not a drill. Repeat, this is not a drill. He's so obviously joking, Paimon. Jokes aside, I have the two of you to thank for this successful resolution. Really, you are a huge help. At least he's humble, and not like one of those spoiled rich kids. Meanwhile, Legend of the Shattered Halberd was positively riveting. Much obliged if you could return it to Chang the Ninth for me. You're making us run another errand? I did nothing, and hence deserve none of his gratitude. The two of you, meanwhile, those strangers to the circumstances, stepped in and saved the day. Uh-huh. To have made such valiant and chivalrous friends is more than enough for me, my liege. Uh, I'm sorry, but I love... Like, 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 just the word liege. It's so, like, it's not, like, it doesn't, it's not, like, gender, like, stored into, like, like, my lord or my queen or stuff like that. But it's kind of like comrades. It's just, I love the word, my, like, the, I love it when people say liege. I just, I just love it. <clears throat> my lord, uh, forgive the intrusion. It's about your father. Uh-oh. Please inform my father, thusly. I have averted a disaster and earned a sizable sum of money in the process. Uh huh. Might this meritorious act compensate for my prior transgressions and earn me a few more days of freedom, perchance? Legend of the Shattered Halberd speaks of a domain that I should very much like to investigate. Uh huh. For all your clever long words, the fact is you're just a lazy bones who doesn't want to work. Leave him alone! <laughs> What if I told you that a reward awaits you at Cheng the Ninth's palace, and not just his gratitude? A reward? Hmm. Well, that sweetens the deal somewhat. Um. Uh, it seems whatever I say, there's no persuading you to stay. Why didn't you tell us Jin Shin was the... I can't... air. Oh, I didn't realize you weren't aware. Oh, well, that, 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 that does make sense. Thank you in advance for returning the book for me. I will take my leave now. May we meet again, fellow merchants. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. He's not even part of, like, I know this is his, like, story quest and everything, but he was a fucking, like, he was, like, barely in it half the time. Oh, great, now they have cups. <laughs> this morning, the pawnbroker showed up and gave me back my entire collection. <gasps> Yay! 
I'm positive that you must have been behind this once again. Thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. No big deal. Happy to help. What should I say? Uh... Sure. Please don't say that. You have no idea how much this means to me. The Chang family was a prestigious household in Liyue back in the day. Unfortunately, after I took over the family's affairs as heir, a series of business setbacks devoured our fortune. Aww. Since then, I've saved for years, hoping to restore the house to its former glory. In the end, everything was riding on this Corlapis deal. Uh-huh. Were it not for you, this barren wasteland in the mountains would have become my final resting place. Aww. Wow, that's the second heir we've met in this town. Shh. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> uh, nothing. Oh, here's your book, Dad. Wonderful. Legend of the Shattered Halbert. I was beginning to think that Goofwa rascal had swindled me. Oh no, 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 no. Do people really look down on the Guha clan so much? Actually, the art is centuries old and was once held in high esteem. But now it has faded beyond recognition. Aw, that's actually kind of sad. To instigate a revival, you need to inject some fresh blood, but it's hard to attract budding young talent to a dying art. And so it becomes a vicious cycle. Hmm. In any case, Guhua kids these days. Take that young rascal Xingqiao, for instance. For all his talk about repaying kindness with kindness and whatnot, what has he done to show for it? You're the ones who've displayed a genuine sense of responsibility. He's better than you get him, give him credit for. Ah, uh, what does it matter? Anyway, you wanted the Liyue volume of the Tevat Travel Guide, didn't you? I'll fetch it for you. Aww. It's yours to keep. In addition, here is but a small token of appreciation for your huge generosity. I'd almost forgot about that. I think it was part of like the beginning of it, but I completely missed it. Because, you know, other stuff. But I did show it earlier in the video. My ore is sold, and my treasured books have returned. I can't believe it. Aww. Uh, what? Strange bookmark. What was that? Paimon saw something fall out. Oh, nothing, nothing. Mmm. That little rascal surely isn't. Ah, quest complete. Woo! Now I can get back everything I lost. Aww. Well then. Well, that's the first part of uh, Sincho's uh, story quest. So, I will see you back in Leeway Harbor. Alright, that was that was actually kind of short. Shorter than I expected it to be. But most of it was just, just fucking running around. And Sincho was not even in the most part of it. Like the rest of the story quest, uh, character story quests I've done. But I hope you no um, enjoyed this video. Um, even though really nothing really exciting happened during the story quest, but um, yeah, I can f since I am done now with character story quests, I can continue the Archon quest now, which I am so excited for. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one, whenever that may be. Bye, my Farista fanimals.